when I was on the conferences as an attendee and I received many business cards. And when I got back home, I realized that I need all of those to put into my Outlook contacts. Um, and actually, I have no uh, option to do that. I quickly uh, search in, in Apple Store for the application and none of those applications allow me to do that in the way I want. So that alternatively, I could do that uh, manually, which of course was something I want really to avoid. And that's why I've created a simple solution made with uh, Microsoft uh, platforms, uh, power-ups for taking a photo, which then will be passed to the Microsoft Flow. Flow using Azure uh, Cognitive Service, the vision one, make character recognition, the OCR, and then Flow will pass the recognized text back to the Power Apps. And in Power Apps, user can make simple mapping of which uh, fields are which. And then the information will be uh, imported to the Outlook contacts. So now let's quickly see how it uh, works live. So what you can see here is the screen of my iPhone. Right now, I'm clicking to open my business card, card uh, reader. I'm taking a photo of some random, totally random business cards of mine. And uh, what is happening right now is that Power Apps pass the information to the Flow. Flow, using Azure Cognitive Service, uh, take out the, the text fields, text information from the, from the business card and pass it back to the Power Apps. And here you can see the, the, the data that went through this whole process. And as you can see, it was done really fast, faster than I was able to explain you what is happening in the background. Uh, as you can also see, some of the information are already properly uh, recognized. The missing ones I need to provide manually. So I'll just select fields information. And if I if I need something to, to if I need to make some corrections, I can do that. But of course, I won't change the number. Just I want just to show you um, the behavior. And I'm uh, pressing the tick button on the last screen. I can confirm that all the information are correct. And I'm pressing add to my Outlook contacts right now. And contact import successfully. And let's quickly see. Uh, if it was properly um, uh, imported, I'm not stacking. I'm not stopping to to. Uh, I'm not stopping talking just to show you that um, uh, there was no video cuts, and so everything works really fluently and fast. Uh, so there is the contact open from my Outlook contacts. What is really cool about this whole uh, application, this whole solution is it how easily I was able to create it. So let me quickly open the Power Apps. Uh, in Power Apps, there is a business card photo screen, which is responsible for taking photo and sending it to the, uh, to the flow. This is the flow, uh, a call to a flow, which takes the regions part from the results and put it as a variable. Um, and then it's just uh, filling the gallery with the with the data from a flow. But the best part lays inside the flow. This is a flow that is responsible for making this whole OCR. And check out how it is short. There are only four and actually three actions, because the fourth one is just a variable initialization. Uh, this one is empty. It's just a power apps trigger. And then we take data from Power Apps, uh, that is, of course, the image stream. We uh, convert it to binary and pass the binaries to the Azure um, Vision Cognitive Services, which, from my perspective, are really a black box. I don't know how it works. I know only how to use it with my data. And um, I expect it to give me the data I want. And the best part is that I'm just taking the output JSON, so the output uh, default response, and pass it back to Power Apps. And Power Apps handle all the rest. So in this example, you can see how it's uh, really easy to um, integrate multiple different services from Microsoft Platform. You can imagine multiple different scenarios uh, that uses 
other Azure cognitive services, like something from a, a language group that may be a sentiment analysis or from a speech group or other vision because uh, the vision API can do much, much more than OCR. So yeah, that's it.